right so now let's take a look at some other power query transformations we have a couple of other transformations that we do inside of columns or that may even affect an entire table like how to fill null cells how to replace values how to merge columns how to split columns and also how to remove duplicates from our data tables so i'm going to my desktop and i'm going to open up my power query essentials folder here i have another workbook called other transformations and what we are going to achieve in this other transformations workbook is first if you look at the ship mode column you are going to see that this column basically when you want to think about it then it seems like everything from here all the way to this place are supposed to be first class and everything from here all the way to this place are standard class and then first class continues from here all the way to that place so basically we are going to be filling these cells and then when you look at the work day column you can see that every single work day is written in full except for wednesday so we are going to have to replace this spelling with the proper spelling of wednesday then we have the customer first name and the customer last name which we are going to try to combine together into a single full name column and then we have the location id column that contains two things it has the postal code and also the city we are going to try to create columns for the postal code and also for the city as well so let's go to power code and import this data for transformation so i have here a brand new power bi desktop file and i'm going to get data from excel workbook i'm connecting to the power query essentials folder and here i want to pick up the number nine workbook other transformations just one worksheet there sales data transform data to go to my power query editor so really when it comes to transforming the contents of already existing columns in power query majority of the things you are going to need will be found in the transform tab of power query now if you don't find what you need in the transform tab of power query then the most common way of also transforming columns is just by right clicking on the affected column that you want to transform now usually it is preferred because it is easier for you to find your transformation option when you right click on the column but sometimes you will not find the option you need when you right click therefore you are going to need to have to come to the transform tab majorly or you may have to go to the home tab and if it involves adding of new columns then you essentially have to go to add columns tab so i'm going to start with the ship mode column and like we have identified I will like all the null cells to be filled down based on what they have above them, right? So the last known value above the null should be filled down up until the next known value, which should also be filled down up until the next known value, right? So because null in power query is used to represent an unknown value or where there's an empty value, so to say. So I'm going to right click on my ship mode column and I will go to find the fill option and the one I need to use here is down because we are filling values all the way down so I'm going to use the fill down option here and that's it then I will go to the weekday column here where I need to replace the short spelling of Wednesday to the full spelling hopefully I know how to spell that correctly I'm just going to right click on the weekday column here and I'm going to select the replace values option and then I will just have to complete the form now what value am I looking for I'm looking for W E D and then I want to replace that with W E D N E S D A Y hopefully that's correct then I'm going to click OK and I have my wetness day in full. Then I want to combine the first name, customer first name and the customer last name into a full name column. I'm going to have to select the customer name first. Then hold control to select the customer last name. Now the order in which you select is important because if I choose the customer last name first before choosing the customer first name, then that means i want to have something like powers darren but what i want is darren powers so i need to select the first name first hold control select the last name and when i right click i should find an option for merge columns now when i select my merge columns option here 
it's going to ask me to put a separator. Now, if I want to combine people's names, I obviously will need to use a space. But you can use any of these options. You can even use a customized option. So I'm going to use space as my separator. Then I need to impute what the new name is going to be because this is like a union. So I'm going to call this customer full name or just customer name should be fine. So customer name and I'm going to click OK. Then I have the two columns combined here into a single column called customer name. And then finally, I have the location ID here that contains the postal code and the name of the city. And I would like to separate those two. So I can right click on the location ID column. Then I'm going to go to where I have split column. And there are several options of splitting columns. You are not likely to use many of them. You are only likely to use by delimiter option, which has something in common that separates or that marks the point of separation across all the data rows. In this case, if I use split by delimiter, obviously what separates my postal code from my cities here is the comma. So Power Query has already helped me to identify that it is the comma, which is good in this case. And it also has an option to select where the splitting should start. Now, usually, or for this particular data set, any of these options is going to work because we only have one demarcation with a single comma. So I'm just going to leave that here and I'm going to click OK. Then we have the column split into two. Now, I'm sure you already know by now that you will have to rename the two columns as postal code and city respectively.